Hey everyone, Jessica here, and in this tutorial we're going to make some really cool, ethereal, magical, kind of cloud-inspired backgrounds like the one that you see on the right. And in a previous tutorial, I had actually um, derived a color palette from this Schiaparelli couture dress, and I really focused on these bright kind of... Um, bright rainbow colors down here and I think they're really nice so I made a pre-made color palette for all my members and then in this tutorial I'm going to use this new cloud brushes they're also available for members they're already right now in the instant access folder for July and we are going to make some backgrounds like this and I'm going to show you how easy it is so to begin with I'm going to go to a new document here and I make a new layer and first off, uh, like uh, per usual, I'm going to go over here to my pattern stamp tool and make sure that Impressionist is checked. And then we are going to be painting with the um, color palette, the Fall Couture color palette. So make sure that you've loaded that up here and selected it from your color palettes. And then for the brush, um, to do the background, what brush am I going to use? Let me see what I used here. Ah, uh, yeah. So let's go up to my artistic autumn brushes and I'll just go ahead and use one of my old faithfuls that I love which is number 23 but really it doesn't matter too much the brush um, I want one that doesn't um, mix the colors too much because I kind of want some bold patches of color so artistic autumn number 23 is good I'm going to increase the brush size until it's really big and then I'm just going to paint down like this and let Photoshop do all the hard work and just kind of have some fun. So, and I want like, you can kind of go over it if you want as well until you get different kind of color spots that you like or whatever. So if you have too much blue or too much pink or something, you know, you can always color over it, but there we go. So that's good. So I'll just duplicate that layer because um, sometimes I like to work non-destructively. So I'm going to go to go fil um, filter up at the top, blur, Gaussian blur. And I will play with the blur amount until I'm happy. And that looks pretty cool. So it just, you know, you can just do it until it's nice. But I like to kind of see the splotches of color. Um, but it's if you mix it too much, then it just kind of becomes very, like, all one color. So somewhere about, and for this case, somewhere about 73 is good. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to make a new layer. We still have our pattern stamp tool selected. And now we are going to go down and select um, the cloud brushes. So I have two new cloud brushes in the July Instant Access folder, Cloud Scatter 1 and Cloud Scatter 2. And Cloud Scatter 1 is just a bit like thicker of a when you're painting, and then the 2 is like more lighter. So I'll just show you the difference. And I'm using the same color palette, so I just love these color palettes because it does all the work, and it looks like you really did so much, but, you know, we let Photoshop do the work. So here's Cloud Scatter 1. And it's quite beautiful. And then here's cloud scatter. Oops. Undo that. Cloud scatter too. And it's more light, a little more sparse. So I'm going to cut that. And I'll just go to one. And I'll kind of go through here. And just, you know, paint. And until I like it. You know, sometimes I, I, uh, do it again and again, you know, until I find a really, you know, sometimes maybe I didn't like that stroke or I didn't like how the colors come out. Now I'll go to my scatter two and I'm just kind of leaving some of the background to show and painting some strokes like this. And I think it's really cool. And it's very ethereal and so interesting looking. And, you know, you can just kind of have fun with it, just painting some little splotches like that. And, you know, you can undo it or redo it if you like. But I think that looks good. So there we've made a background, and now you can, like, do like I did and put a quote over it. 
or turn it into the background of a greeting card, put it on products for sale, turn it into a bag design, um, whatever it is. And, or even, you know, um, as long as you have a couple strokes, make, you know, a packet of digital papers. Um, the possibilities are endless. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget all of the resources that I'm using are available for the All Access members. And then if you have any questions, um, just let me know in the comments. And then also I'm going, I've already made some, uh, a little mini pack of these papers. So just in case um, you want some ready made, I'm gonna have that available soon in the Instant Access folder and then also available for sale on my site as well. So hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial and stay tuned for lots more.